Bakat it again. Cooking with Chef Buka. Don't forget, check out the channel, yeah? Leave a comment. Leave a likes as well, because you don't know. Oh, I just want to put out the likes, then, man. Come on, man. You got to be doing a better job than this. Supporting the channel, you know. I really give thanks for where we are. You know, where we're coming from. Exactly. So today we decided that we're going to do some blueberry muffin. You know, with a little bit of twist, we're going to put some strudel on top for more like kind of more crunchy, crispy taste. You know, everything. I'm trying to work with every ingredient, organic ingredient. You know, a little extra flavor here and there, you know. Check my ingredients out. All right, so yeah, ingredients up and running. Tell you what it is. Right here, in this we have two copper AP flour, which is organic AP. Right here we have one cup of sugar, granulated white sugar. Here we have half a cup of butter, gotta be melted. So this is, you know, almost melted already, just breaking down, ready to go. We have two cup of blueberry. So in here we have um, two teaspoons of baking powder, you know I say? half a teaspoon of salt. That's what we're going to mix up with the flour. Oh, we got a sifter right here to sift the flour and make it a little bit more fluffy. Over here we have two egg, milk. Um, milk is half a cup of milk. That's to be exact with the recipe. Half a cup of milk, two egg, and one teaspoon vanilla extract. Alright? Yeah. So what we're gonna do now, you know what? Let me get into the strudel base so you guys you know know about the strudel. So this is the strudel right here. In here I got flour, sugar, you know, two tablespoons each sugar. I got brown sugar and white sugar in here. I got two tablespoons of butter. You want it not to, you know, be too, you want it to be kind of a little bit cold as well. So don't make it, you know, sit out too, too long. But I got to be cold. All right? AC running here, so I'm not worried about that part. And we got flour in here. We got a little bit of salt. We got cinnamon. You know, all the, all the, all the nice ingredients to make a strudel. Easy, easy. So, I'm going to tell you the, in, the measurement for this one. We have half a cup flour. Two each tablespoon brown and white sugar. We have a pinch of salt or one eight, you know, of a tablespoon of salt. You know, we have two tablespoons of butter. And that's basically it, you know, just to make the strudel. You're gonna see how we do that later. So what we're gonna do now, let's start sieve the flour and put everything together, okay? So you wanna put all wet, all dry together, okay? Sieve this and then, you know, just mix everything together, the combine together. This is supposed to take more than an hour to put everything together, including getting it ready. It's supposed to be 45 minutes, but you, know, you never know. An oven cook at 400. So we're going to look at that, make sure I get all the right stuff. Right information for that. And if you guys need recipe, just put recipe in there. Or just check me at, you know, Chef Buka 119. And Instagram, send me a little thing and I'll send you the um I'll send you the ingredients. And yeah, so we're gonna mix it up together. Then we're gonna start at liquid together, okay? Sugar in here. You need sugar. And we have baking powder in here too, okay? Don't forget. Two tablespoons. Keep mixing everything together. I'm not gonna use a whisk, I'm just gonna use a spatula to make it because it's not a lot, you know? Yeah. I got a bread recipe coming up too for you guys. Very soon. Uh, let's see about it. Alright? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add all the liquid and just keep mixing it. Try not to make you guys have too much footage. Normally, what you can do, you can put the sugar in the liquid and, and, and mix it out into the liquid as well. But I decided to put it directly in here. I kind of like when you know, I'm folding everything and everything together instead of you know, mixing up the sugar out. And this, this white sugar, it melts real quick as well too. Awesome. Like that. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep folding it. You can see that muffin consistent there already. Keep folding it. When we come back, we're gonna, I'm going to keep folding until it reaches the consistency I want it to be. And then I'm just going to fold into the, the blueberries into it. All right? We'll come back. Don't want to give you guys too much footage. All right, so that mix up, almost ready. So now I'm doing a crumble right here. So the butter, as I said, the butter has got to be a bit Mix it until it turns crumble. Keep, you know, chopping and cutting the butter. Get this out of the way. Chopping, cutting the butter until it turns crumble. See it? Start coming together already. Just like that. It's very easy. You know, it's not hard. Mix it to the turn crumb so you want to do it. See? Coming perfectly together. Now remember the butter gotta be cold, okay? The butter is um cold, it's gonna melt. Not gonna you know turn what it's supposed to turn. Keep doing this until it reach what it's supposed to reach. I'm gonna go ahead and pour, pour these berries in here. I look like I got a little bit too much, so I'm gonna pour a little bit less, okay? And I'm just gonna fold them in. You don't wanna crush them too much, just fold them in, in the mixture, all right? Just like that. And I got an ice cream scoop. I'm gonna use the ice cream scoop to put them in my baking tray, okay? All right, back at it again. Nice. So what we're gonna do now is start put them in there. You wanna see the crumble? Crumble very nice. Love it, you know. That's how you want it. Sprinkle on top. More flavor. A lot of cinnamon in there. Alright, so um I decided I'm gonna use a little bit of flour instead of use the um pan coating. So I'm gonna use just a little bit of flour to let it don't stick in here. It come off much easier. This is much much natural, you know, than using the pan coating to do that. So it's a bit of flour in this. I hope it don't stick in here. It's not supposed to stick, but we'll see what's going on. Sure, got in there. Mm -hmm. All right, so start putting these in here. So I'm gonna put a few in here, you know, show you guys what's going on. And then after I'm gonna yeah, I think that's big enough for that. And I'm gonna put the coating on top, you know. So I don't have to have you guys here watching me doing all of this all day, okay? Yeah, just like that. It's supposed to make 12 the recipe. Supposed to make 12 muffins. Look like it, that's gonna be 12. Let's do six and garnish six and then pop it in the oven, 400, for 18 to 22 minutes, okay? Make sure that one. All right, so over here, sprinkle this on top. One teaspoon each, sprinkle on top, okay? Kids won't love this. Guarantee you that. Yeah, a little bit too much on that one right there. This one. Let's burn a little bit more flavor in. Just like that, okay? I got this cutting board here to make it not, not too messy. So just like that for that, what I'm going to do is finish put the other six in here. Then I'm going to pop it in the oven and we're going to just go from there. See what it looks like. You know, I'm sure. It's going to be lovely, but we're going to figure it out ourselves, all right? Yeah. All right, oven just went off. We're going to check it together. Oh, look at those. I'm going to pull it out. Give me a second. 
looking all nice. So 22 minutes. If you want to do 23, I have my little tester right here. I'm going to test it to see how good it is. Oh yeah, it's definitely ready. You can see that. Nothing on clean fingers. Put it down, it's hot, so. Gotta be careful taking this out. Uh, burn some parts. Let me get another hand glove to take it out. Don't want to spill it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, hot. Look at that. Huh? So, looks so good. So yummy. Yeah. So, I'm going to get a wire rack. Let it sit on a wire rack. Cool down. For, you know, an hour. I think. I think an hour is good enough. And then we're going to get into it, you know what I'm saying? About eating it and all of that. Alright, when we come back, we're going to get into that. I just want you to see when I pop it out of the oven. Yeah, see muffin them there. So they look nice and lovely. That may I talk about. If you can zoom in on them a little bit, huh? Yeah, nice and lovely. Yeah, man. Be perfect. I already eat two already. Besides, I'm going to take a couple out of the container so you guys can see what it's like. Yeah, alright. That was the end of the video. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share, tell a friend to tell a friend. No, yeah, man. Check me out, man. And then I say, blueberry, man.